Hi, I'm Michelle Frame, candy scientist. I'm president and founder of Victus Ayers, a food product development lab based in Chicago, where our specialty is confectionery and everything sweet. Today we're going to talk some about solids and testing candy material for solids. Why is that important? Well, depending on what our solids are, we'll define whether or not we're ready to take our candy goo off the stove and deposit it. Whether that's gummies or hard candy or even taffy, it all starts with a base syrup that includes sugar, syrup, and water. Other things like gelatin, pectin, flavors, and colors may all be added to that to make candy candy. Using refractometer lets us define solids. We want to make sure that we're using a high solids refractometer because low solids ones are made for the grape juice industry. Having a solid refractometer that goes from 95 or even up to 100 is really critical. To measure, we take a small amount of our goo, this is a chemistry spoon, and we put it on our face plate, the glass face, uh, face plate here. And we want to put enough on so that it covers the plate without so much going all over the place. We need a thin film of it. We close the cover and press down to ensure that it makes an even cover across. Now we can aim it at a light source and get our reading. And from there, make the decision of whether it's ready to come off the stove or not. Clean your refractometer using warm water and dry it with Kim wipes. For additional information on solids and how to use a refractometer, visit our website at victusairs.com.